Okay, function notation. You know I've gotten on to you guys before about using notation properly, writing things the right way. That is so critical for what we're about to do now. Do you guys remember before you would have something like this, y equals x squared plus 2x minus 7, something, something like that? We're, we're not going to do that anymore. Instead of writing y, what will I write? I'm going to write this. <coughs> what we need to understand is the following. <coughs> this is red as f of x. Do not say fx. It's not a cable channel. You're not cool when you say fx. You sound uninformed. Don't be that way. f of x is the same thing as saying y. This tells me I have a function that's in terms of the variable x. f, f is the name of the function. And it's based on, it's based on the variable x. <coughs> That's why we say f of x. Now sometimes we, will, we won't say f to name a function, we'll use g. f, g, and h are the most common names for functions. Sometimes you may change that up, you may say something like this. I may say c of x. Maybe if I'm talking about a cost function based on um, based on make si making x a uh, number of units. Okay. Maybe if we're going to talk about a revenue function, we would use what? Little dollar sign. Yeah, we'd use dollar sign of x. You would say something like this. Maybe R of X is going to be the revenue, <coughs> the revenue based on selling X number of units. That way, if someone were to see that, <coughs> given the proper context, if you're talking about cost, revenue, and profit, and someone sees C of X versus R of X, you don't have to say, Hey, dude, uh, C of X is cost. They, can, they, they know, right? They should know, anyway. Here's another one of my favorites. What is that guy? This is the height of an object given in t seconds after launch or dropping or whatever's going on. So, we may change that up to give us more meaning instead of just always saying f of x. Does that make sense? All right. 